Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anuta, the Crochet World. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos. And today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a zigzag spike stitch. And here it is. It looks like this. It is the same from both the sides. Here it is. And it is a quite thick pattern. So if you're using this pattern for a blanket or something, just keep in mind that this stitch is really very thick stitch and it will create a very thick blanket or any of the project you're going to make. It's going to be a very thick project. And here it is. It looks like this. Now here for this particular project, I have used my 100% cotton yarn. And if you want to check, I have used a three and a half mm of the hook, but that's totally up to you. Whatsoever size of hook you have been using, whatsoever uh, fabric you're using, whatsoever yarn you're using, it's completely all right. You can use any of your um, yarn, you can use any of your hook size, and here it is. So let's begin. So here we're going to start with our this first color of our yarn, and we'll start with a slip knot. And now we're gonna need our foundation chain in multiples of two so you can go up to as many numbers as you want just have your chains in a multiples of two i'm gonna go up to my 30 chains here so it's one two three four five six, 28 29 and 30. so here it is got my these 30 chains here and now i'm gonna turn my work and i'm gonna work on this back part of our chains so here I will skip my this first chain and I will go to the second chain and I will insert my hook into my the second chain and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have one single crochet and now keep on having one single crochet on each chain until the end of your chains and I'm gonna meet you at the end so keep on having one single crochet on each chain and here I'm gonna have my 29 single crochets and I'm gonna meet you at the end so here it is, I got my this 28 single crochets here and for my this last stitch, my last single crochet, I'm going to insert my hook into my this last chain and here we're going to have our single crochet but we're going to change the color of our yarn. So here just grab a yarn and you're going to have two loops on our hook and now we're going to change the color. So here grab your this second color and simply just pull it through your two loops and here it is this is how we are going to attach over this color the second color here and this is our single crochet so we got over this last single crochet here just gonna fix my this last stitch and here it is we got over this 29 single crochets of our round number or round number one now for your round number two chain one turn your work and this is your chain one this is your first stitch go to this first stitch insert your hook into this first stitch grab a yarn and have one single crochet here get this so have one single crochet on your first stitch then chain one and we will go to this next stitch now here into this next stitch we're going to have our one puff stitch and for that we're going to yarn over for about three times so yarn over for first time go to this next stitch insert your hook and grab a yarn you're going to have three loops yarn over for the second time insert your hook into this next stitch and grab a yarn you're going to have five loops on your hook yarn over for the third time insert your hook into that same stitch into the second stitch and grab a yarn and you're gonna have seven loops on your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through all seven loops here and this is your puff stitch now chain one now we're gonna skip over this next stitch and we will go to the stitch after that and here into the stitch we're gonna have over one puff stitch so for that yarn over and go to this stitch insert your hook and grab a yarn yarn over for the second time insert your hook and grab a yarn yarn over for the third time insert your hook and grab a yarn and you're gonna have seven loops on your hook now yarn over and pull your yarn through all seven 
loops here. Now chain one and again we're going to skip over this next stitch and we're going to go to the stitch after that and here we're going to have our puff stitch. So again yarn over go to the stitch grab yarn yarn over go to the stitch and grab yarn yarn over and go to the stitch and grab yarn yarn over three times now yarn over and pull yarn through all of your seven loops and chain one here it is now keep on repeating this pattern all the way on all of these stitches and i'm gonna meet you on this last stitch so on your this second last stitch here you're gonna have your puff stitch and i'm gonna meet you on your on our this last stitch and we'll tell you what to do on our this last stitch so keep on repeating this pattern one puff stitch and one chain one so again we're gonna skip over this next stitch we'll go to the stitch after that and we're gonna have our puff stitch and we're gonna yarn over th for three times so it's one two and three yarn over and pull yarn through all of your seven loops and chain one keep on repeating this pattern and i'm going to meet you at the end and here it is it looks like this and i'm here so here i got my this last puff stitch and chain one and now i'm going to go to this last stitch and here on this last stitch i'm going to have one single crochet so for that i'm just going to insert my hook into my this last stitch and here we're going to change the color of our yarn as well so just grab your yarn and to finish up our this single crochet we're going to attach our next color our color number three so for that just have your this third color and grab your this color and pull it through grab your this yarn and pull it through two loops and here it is just just your this yarn and your stitch and here it is and that's how we're gonna attach over this color and this is the end of our row number two now for your row number three chain one and turn your work yeah and now go to this first stitch insert your hook and grab a yarn and have one single crochet here and chain one just adjust your this color here and here it is now here this is your puff stitch of your row number two and this is your chain one now we're going to go down to this chain one and here on over this row number one you're going to find your first skipped stitch so here on this stitch we have already worked this is our puff stitch so after this first puff stitch you're going to find your this first skipped stitch here it is on our row number one not our row number two on our row number one and here we're gonna have our first puff stitch so for that here have one single crochet chain one yarn over and go to this first skip stitch of our row number one and insert your hook into the stitch and grab a yarn here we're gonna have our puff stitch so we're gonna yarn over for three times so this is for the first time this is second time and this is a third time yarn over and here it is you're gonna have your seven loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through all seven loops now chain one like this now again we are gonna skip over this puff stitch and after this puff stitch we're gonna find our skip stitch on our round number one or round number one and here we're gonna have our another puff stitch so just down to this chain one space you're gonna find your this skipped stitch on our round number one and you're gonna work on this row number one on over this skip stitch and we're gonna have our puff stitch here so yarn over insert your hook and grab a yarn it's one two and three here it is yarn over and pull yarn through all seven loops again chain one go to this next puff stitch and we're going to skip over this next puff stitch go to this chain one space and just down to this chain one space you're going to find your the skipped stitch of your row number one and here on the skip stitch we're going to have our puff stitch so it's one two and three and have puff stitch and chain one and now keep on repeating this pattern until the end of this row and i'm gonna meet you 
here at the end. So keep on having one puff stitch and chain one, one puff stitch and chain one and I'm going to meet you at the end. Keep on repeating this pattern for your round number three. And here it is. I'm at the end of my this round number three and here I've got my this last puff stitch and here after this puff stitch we're going to find over this single crochet and we will go to the single crochet and here we're going to change the color of our yarn so just grab your this yarn and you're going to have two loops here and to finish up we're going to now change to our color number one so here let's go to this first color and grab your this color here the yarn here and pull it through two loops adjust your stitch and make sure your this yarn is not that stretched otherwise your work will be uneven in here so just keep that in mind and here it is that's how we're going to finish our row number three and now for your row number four turn your work and here we're going to have our first single crochet so insert your hook into this first stitch and have your first single crochet here and chain one enough we're gonna go before this puff stitch so here we got over this puff stitch of our raw raw number three so here before this puff stitch you're gonna find your space so if you remember for our raw number two we have our first single crochet then chain one and then the puff stitch so here in between this first single crochet and this puff stitch you're gonna find your this chain one space and we're gonna work on this chain one space here so here we're gonna have our first puff stitch of our raw number four so for that after you this first single crochet and chain one yarn over and go in between this space here remember we are working on our one row below always we are working on a one row below on this pattern so here we are not going to work on this row number three we're going to work on this row number two now so for that go to this row number two and after you have this first single crochet and your first puff stitch you're going to find your this chain one space and we're going to work on this chain one space insert your hook in between this stitch and grab a yarn and here we're going to have our first puff stitch so we're going to yarn over for three times so it's one two and three yarn over and pull a yarn through all of your seven loops and chain one again we're going to skip over this next puff stitch of our row number three and we will go to this row number two now here you got your this puff stitch so before this puff stitch you're going to have your this chain one space here this is your chain one space and we're going to work on this chain one space here so here again have your one another puff stitch so insert your hook into the space here and grab a yarn so it's one two and three yarn over and pull a yarn through all of your loops and chain one again this is your next puff stitch go to the puff stitch after that this is your puff stitch of your round number two and before you're this puff stitch you're going to find this chain one space here so we're going to work into this space so here yarn over go to the space here and have your puff stitch so it's one two and three yarn over and pull your yarn through all of your seven loops and chain one here it is now keep on repeating this pattern until the end of your this row and I'm going to meet you here. So your last puff stitch will be here. Before you're this last puff stitch of your round number two, you're going to find your this space here. And your puff stitch will be here in between this one and two puff stitch. In between this, your last uh, puff stitch of your round number three and your last puff stitch of your round number two. You're going to find your space here and have your last puff stitch here. And I'm going to meet you at the end here and here it is at the end of my this row number four i'm here on my this last puff stitch and i've got my this last puff stitch here and i'm gonna have a chain one here and i will go to this last stitch my last this single crochet and i will insert my hook into my this last single crochet and we'll grab the yarn now here we're going to change the color of our yarn so we're going to have our single crochet here but as we're going to change the color we're going to have this two loops here we're going to leave over this yarn and we're going to have over this second color here so we're going to 
grab the second color and we are going to attach over the second color so just pull it through both the loops again when you're attaching to this yarn just keep in mind that your yarn is not too stretched otherwise your work will be uneven and here it is it looks like this and this is the end of your row number four now for your row number five again chain one turn your work and insert your hook into this first stitch and grab a yarn and have one single crochet and chain one and now as we will go one row below so we are not going to work on this row number four now we're going to work on row number three so this is our row number three and before you're this first puff stitch you're going to find your this chain one space here and we're going to work on this space so as we're going to skip over this puff stitch and yarn over and go to this space here insert your hook into the space and grab a yarn so it's one two and three yarn over and pull a yarn through all of your seven loops and chain one yarn over again skip your this puff stitch go to this row number three and you're going to find your this next puff stitch on your row number three and here before this puff stitch you're going to find your chain one space so insert your hook into this chain one space here and grab a yarn and have your puff stitch here so it's one two and three yarn over and spool a yarn through all of your seven loops and chain one and here it is it looks like this now keep on repeating this pattern until the end of this row and i'm gonna meet you here you're gonna have your last puff stitch here and i'm gonna tell you what to do after your this last puff stitch so keep on repeating this pattern and here it is i'm at the end of my this row number five and again here i'm gonna have my this chain one i've got my this last puff stitch here and I'm going to have a chain one and I will go to this last stitch and will insert my hook into my this last stitch and we'll grab the yarn. And here we're going to have our single crochet. So and we're going to change the color as well. So here we're going to leave our this two loops on our hook. Leave your this yarn and now go to color number three. So here I'm going to keep, take this third color and grab it. Pull it through my two loops again. Keep in mind that your this yarn is not stretched out, it's not too tight, it's not too loose while attaching your this color. And here it is. It looks like this. And now keep on repeating your row number four and five. Keep on changing your color of the yarn as well and keep on working on your required length. And here it is. Your work will look like this. And I'm going to go up to some more rows and I'm going to meet you after that so as i'm having my this single crochet here i'm gonna have a chain one we'll turn my work we'll go to this first stitch insert my hook and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have one single crochet and chain one and as this is my round number five i'm gonna work on my round number four so here this is my round number four so before this first puff stitch i'm gonna find a chain one space here so this is my chain one space and i'm gonna work on this chain one space here so yarn over and I'm going to insert my hook into this space and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have a puff stitch here. And that's going to be my first puff stitch of my row number six. Here it is and chain one. So keep on repeating your row number four and five until your required length. And I'm going to meet you after that. And here it is my final stitch. It looks like this from both sides. Here it is. This is the same and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have liked please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye